All right, testing, testing, testing. Here we go. Okay, so uh, I got an update on my OBS, and then magically everything just stopped working. Um, so the recording from this moment forward will be taking place on the actual PlayStation itself. So off we go. Hopefully, though, at least with that, we'll have a little better of a time in terms of recording quality and you know won't be as many sound issues and all that good stuff um oh, excuse me um I didn't really want to do it because I know sometimes the PlayStation recording will block scenes um but I guess I guess we'll just have to work around that we'll, we'll see what we can do in in regards to that um but you know, it is what it is. So, making do with what we got. Let's pick back up. Let's give Chadley a quick chat. It looks like, you know, we've got the Shiva mission complete. We've got all the materia that he that he's been selling. Um, it looks like we've just got a little bit until we can start getting some more missions. Yeah, we've completed all the battle intel, which is fucking awesome. I love that. Um, that we're all caught up so far. That's actually a really good sign. Um, we were side questing down here in uh, Sector 5 with Aerith. And looks like we've got a couple more. So we can do... Let's do Angel of the Slums. I actually do like this one quite a bit. Um, it's got a pretty cool... Looks like the other fella, he's right there. Um, but we'll do Angel of the Slums first. Alright. <clears throat> I've been just watching non-stop, uh, like, podcasts and uh, commentaries and conspiracy theories about all the remakes and all that good stuff and then how many parts it's going to be. And I'm just so stoked. Well, we know it's going to be three, but I'm just really stoked about it. I'm going to bump into this man. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc. Sorry, I was mixing up my coffee. Uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you. Work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. <clears throat> so, we've basically got a Shinra-employed reporter who is trying to get some insight from us. We don't, you know, it's like, Shimra's not our friend, but at the end of the day, we're Merc, we're working for money here. I'm gonna go ahead and say, out of all the characters in here, um, this one right here looks to be the most story-progressing. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mirei, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier, and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. 
Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? <clears throat> so, we can stop here and this uh, female Yukon Cornelius um, gives us uh, gives us a little hint that she's got some information. So, so, let's talk to this guy, see what he's got to say. Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in P. Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point. Got it! I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I can't go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist model. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Okay. The forgotten lookout point deep within the scrap. Could it be that this place holds the secrets of the angel? This is what we need to find out. Alrighty. Well, I guess I gotta go kill a monster. Giant monster. With a with a nail bat. That's what I've gotta go do. Ugh. But that seems to be, you know. What Cloud's pretty good at is just murking some monsters. So, this is where I love getting confused back here. Because I'm always, uh, I'm always a little bit second guessing about where it's, wh where it's actually going. Or where it actually is. Um, the graveyard is right here. So, I think it's... I remember going up there, I just can't remember exactly which area of the map it's in. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, I was really expecting a fight to spawn up there, but it didn't. Uh, mm, is it... Nope, it's not there. I think it is... Oh, here we go. Triple slash it. Oh, you know what? He's dead. We're good. It's definitely up here. Uh, stairs. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy. Um. Okay, good. She's got lightning, Thundara, which is good. Um, Cloud has HP up, first strike, steal, and assess. Luck up. Um, yep, only only two materia accessories, other than. Aeroths, which she needs the more materia anyway. Let's see if we have any. Uh, mm, 
Not particularly, but Aerith's got some stuff. That might actually be handy. I totally forgot she had another... Another weapon that we could... Okay, boom. So now we've already got the same amount of materia. Um, let's see if we can get one more materia slot. No, no such luck. Okay. Um, these are all eight apiece. And if we did all three of these, three times eight, that's 24, which would leave us with... Okay, and then these are all 12, these are all 10. But these magic attack powers, these are 10 each. Let's do these first, because those... Um, those will help the most. Those are eight, right? So those were, that was gonna be 24. So, MP regeneration boost, that is, uh, that'll leave us with 16. So it means we can get two more of those other ones, right? Um, do we want the... That's actually, yeah, that's probably a good... Good starting point for this weapon. Um... Now do we want the max MP, or do we want magic power? Or do we want max MP or HP? Let's give her HP. Do a little more. We've already done a lot with her magic. Oh, shit. Nope, I just wanted to equip that. My bad. But just for the hell of it, let's take a look at what we could have done with the guard stick. Because maybe we'll get another... I actually think we might have... Oof. That one will give us another materia slot, which is... But the magic power... Oh, that connects it. Let's see here. Um... Uh, guard 6 got 55. That one has 80. Ooh! Yeah, that one... That would almost be dumb not to... Not to take that. Because we would only be able to connect two materia slots anyway. We wouldn't be able to add another one. Cool. Um, looks like we're full on health, pretty much. Full on MP. Alright. Let's get to it. Okay. First things first. An iron sphere is its own target. Okay, normally attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it susceptible to staggering. Furthermore, hitting its wrecking ball with magic attacks will quickly fill its stagger gauge. Weak to lightning. Nothing to steal, nothing to drop. Okay. So that's good information. Um, Tyria has improved enough that a more potent spell is available, for example- Oh, okay, yeah, I, I know all that. It's the Ndara, the Iron Sphere. Oh, Jesus! That thing did not mess around. Okay. Okay. Want to get a good distance away from it. So it seems to be you shit. Do it. On. Does focus do anything to its stagger gauge? Oh, that shit is not. Yeah, that's not good. I'll show you what I can do. Okay. 
So yeah, you don't want to walk into that little cloud of jolted smoke. I got this. It's on you. Here goes. Okay. Get him. Just keep hammering him with these thunder spells. See if this will hit him with a stagger. Oh shit! <laughs> that was fucking close. This should do it. Actually, you know what we ought to do? Oh, I did not get the ability from her weapon. So that means I can't use, uh, what is it, arcane, arcane field or something like that, which basically makes it where she can... Oh, there we go, there we go. Triple slash him. Okay, back him up. Keep it together. So it's my turn? She's only got 8 MP left, so let's do... Let's see what else she's got. Sorcerer's Storm deals magic damage to enemies nearby. Unleash an attack that absorbs MP. Absorbs additional MP from staggered enemies. Let's see if he even has any MP. Two. Gave me two. This one's not, this one's pretty easy. If, uh, I, I'm saying that now, and of course, you know, once I get him down to a certain amount, he's just gonna become an absolute pain in the ass. Oh! If anyone remembers that first hit that he gave, he hit on me, was, for Cloud at least, it was like, hit him with, yeah, like 700. He's really not. Really not giving Aerith an easy time right here. Oh, Jesus. Let's give Aerith an ether. I can hit him twice. Easy. Easy. That one is not bad at all. Just use Aerith. Keep your distance. Should be alright. Just keep hitting him with them. Thunder spells. Yeah, let's return. I don't think there was like a chest in there or anything that we that we would have to really worry about. Um, but I do like that it will just shoot you back to wherever you started the the quest. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards. This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself. Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around. I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <laughs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Ah, really not even close. No harm, no foul, right? 
In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Damn. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's <clears throat> pocket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Damn, this 2,000 guilt, that was a pretty good pretty good amount for completing a quest. And honestly, that boss fight really wasn't even that bad. Uh, looks like we got one more. And I think that's the uh, Paying Respects is I think what it's called. It's over here by this uh, armor shop. Which... I think he does sell something with with three materia slots. I've got 15,000 gil. Accessory, okay. Um, this one's 3,200. But the, it, it always seems like I buy one of these and then it will lower my defense. So that's why I've got, I've got titanium right now. It'll lower my defense and magic defense pretty significantly, actually. Um, we'll keep what I've got, and then, because it always ends up that I buy something and then end up finding that, like, a similar or better armor later in anyway. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. So that's good. Um, that was this. This is the quest that we needed the the graveyard key for. This dude's looking a lot like Ron Swanson. Um, oh, about it. So yeah, this is definitely one of those things. If you didn't get the uh, graveyard key from from Moggy, um, you're gonna. I, uh, I want to say it was like two, maybe three. Maybe it was only one Moogle medal, but definitely if you don't have that yet, and you're on this side quest, you want to go back and um, grab a couple more Moogle medals if you don't have any, which, remember, you can just play the um, Whack-A-Box. And every time you play, you get a Moogle medal as a reward. So you can just play that a couple times, get a couple of... Jesus, what the hell are these things? All right. Okay, let's give this guy an assess. Um, weak to blizzard, tactical data not available. They got like 10,000 each. Damn, that is not an insignificant amount of health. But we'll just stick with Aerith. Hers fill up pretty quick. Okay. Hers fill up pretty quick if you get like a combo going. Hit him with a triple slash. Damn, that was dumb. We want the stagger one for sure. Fravor on A. Okay. I'm coming. Damn. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I think these guys might, um, might actually... I 
focus a little more on like the active player because these these guys are just chasing her down. Um, that should take care of him. He does probably need to heal. Oh damn, he's poisoned. Um, high potion. Yo, is A still alive? No, he's not. Good. Oh, she's like woozy. Triple slash. Yo, come on, get up, get up. Fuck. It might be the web that does that. Okay, there we go. Probably heal Cloud. Yeah. Can you take over for me? Pushing it. So it's my turn? And cat! I'm waiting. It's your turn now. All the time. That did some good, good stuff. You dumb now, motherfucker. Let's switch it up. I'll show you what I can do. Get him. You've got this. Need to heal. Let's finish this. I think this ought to do it. Boom. Nice and easy. This must be it. Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. <clears throat> and I think we're all good to go. I think that'll about wrap it up with the with the side quest, and I think we can Carry on with the story. I'm really grateful for what you did. Studded bracer. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. <sighs> That's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Uh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? 